Welcome back to the Learning Linux CNC uh, YouTube channel. This is Jim Craig and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, our touch probe again. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about setting up the touch probe so that the uh, tip runs concentric uh, in your spindle. To do that you're going to adjust these three set screws so that you adjust the center point of the tip relative to the center point of your of your spindle axis. So uh, we'll be using these three set screws. I'll show you some uh, some tips uh, as far as what I found to be the easiest way to do it. Um, I'll also show you uh, the actual centering procedure. We're going to use a, uh, a, a an Allen screw to adjust these. We're going to use a straight edge to indicate uh, the direction that the touch probe is pointing. Um, I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to tape it on here so that we have a, uh, a good reference as to the uh, direction that the touch probe is pointing. And then we're also going to um, use our uh, dial test indicator, uh, put it on a uh, magnetic base and indicate into the tip of the probe so that when we rotate the probe around in the spindle we'll be able to see if it's running concentric or not. Uh, and then we'll use the set screws to, to adjust it so that it is running concentric. So uh, let's uh, let's get started. We'll get this all set up. I'll show you uh, show you how we have it set up in the mill, and uh, we'll start working on uh, centering this up. The first thing we're going to show is how to uh, how we put on the uh, the straight edge to to help with alignment of the of the of the probe. So here we go. I taped this straight edge on here and it is in line with two of the set screws and I'll use this when I'm in the milling machine so that I can help to align the stylus so that it's running with no run out. Um, I'll, I'll show you how I'm doing that but I just wanted to show you how I had this set up. So what I'll do first is I'll set these two set screws so that it has got no run out going this way in line with the uh, with the straight edge and then I'll adjust the third set screw so that it has no run out running perpendicular to the straight edge. So that's what I'm going to do to to set that up and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay so here's my setup. <clears throat> We've got the test indicator here set up with the uh, indicating on the end of the uh, probe tip. We've got our rule on here that I've got uh, set up so it's front front and rear and we'll rotate the probe 180 degrees and see how far out of out of alignment the probe tip is right now. Right now I have the set screws that adjust it all the way back out so we'll, we'll tighten them up here in a minute so that so that they have initial contact and we'll start from there. So right now we have about three three and a half thousandths between difference between this way and this way so I'm gonna go ahead and lock it back in place this way and I'm gonna tighten this set screw up Now let's see what we got. Obviously it looks like it's a lot further out of whack now. So it is. Now, I'll bring this side up. So let's lock it in place on this side. Get in here so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna 
adjust it with my vise here so that I'm right on zero. So I've got got it so it's front and back here and the brake off. Spin it 180 degrees. And I'm off by half a thousandth. Can you see that? So there's that side. There's that side. So See, it's pretty sensitive. Let's see how we are now. So right there, we're at, we're at about zero. And we're right about zero there. So now, We've got to bring it up into alignment with the with the scale perpendicular now. So we've done that. So now we need to bring this. We're going to adjust this third set screw so that the needle comes up to where it's at zero. Keep in mind I'm doing a lot of turning here and not doing anything because I had them backed out. So now, let's see what we got. Oh, we got a little bit out of the whack there. And a little bit out there. What that tells me is that it's not exactly perpendicular there. Set it again here. Set this one. We'll adjust so we're right at zero. Okay, go 180. Chasing it a little bit here. Chasing it a little bit here.
what I need to do is go half the distance. That's what I'm doing wrong is why I'm chasing it. I'm going the full distance and I need to go half the distance. Let's go. Let's try this again. See if I can do it the right way. Close, closer. Zero it out here. Okay. Hundred and eighty. pretty close there. I'll call that good for right now. Check our 90. There we are perpendicular again. Going across this way. So we're going to adjust the front one. And we'll go halfway again. Let's see what we got. Nope, we're still at zero there. Still at zero there. Let's adjust her up till zero. Includes uh, aligning the touch probe so that it's run concentric in your spindle. Um, the, the the end of the video that you just saw there, uh, the footage that you just saw, uh, you showed I showed you adjust making the final adjustments so that the probe tip went centered. Uh, I ran out of storage on my uh, SD card whenever I was filming that, so I didn't catch the very last bit of that where I showed that it was actually running uh, concentric to within less than a half a thousandths whenever I would uh, spin it in in the spindle. Um, so you'll just have to take my word for it, but uh, that's the way it was uh, in that in that final adjustment So again, if you uh, if you like these videos be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, We uh, We will have one more video on this on this touch probe series uh, The next video is going to be about uh, using the touch probe. We'll be demonstrating some of the routines and versus uh, probe screen in Linux CNC and we'll be looking at the repeatability of this probe so that uh, you know when you use it multiple times touching in the same spot it should give you the same result each time so we'll look at how repeatable this probe is how much air you can expect from it uh, using the settings that I have and, and my particular probe of course it may be slightly different for other probes but I would expect it to be uh, very similar from one probe to the next so again thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time